Hey everybody, happy holidays and happy new year. Here at HowToMan, we like to kick off the new year by giving you guys 20 great games to check out. This year I tried to find games that aren't very big or very well known, but still a lot of fun. I made this list in no particular order, and I really hope you guys enjoy them, so let's begin. Number 1, Fast Like a Fox. Our first game we are looking at is Fast Like a Fox. This game is simple and fun to play. All you do is collect certain items as you run and jump through the level. This game adapts the freemium model and occasionally will play ads in between the levels. Overall, I'd say this is a good game to play while you're commuting or while you are looking to waste time. It's simple enough to where it will help you pass the time for a few minutes without much effort or thought. Number 2, Trumpy Wall. This next game caught my eye with the name. As you guys know, our new President Trump had a campaign promise to build a wall. This game pokes fun at that concept and has made it very entertaining. It's another simple game but that will provide a decent enough challenge to make it very fun to play. All you have to do is select the color in front of you before the falling parts of the wall hit your character. It's very nice and easy and it definitely helps pass the time. Number 3. Charge The premise for this game is simple enough. You hold down the little bar until the battery reaches a certain level and then you let it go. It seems very one dimensional but it's a good game to pass the time and it's actually quite challenging when it gets to certain parts. For example it took me quite some time to get past the 50% mark. I was honestly super close many times. Number 4. Square It This game is a little different from the previous three. It requires a bit more thought than the other games we have checked out thus far. This game consists of being able to fill the shape by moving it in one motion. It starts simple and continually gets more difficult as you progress through. I would suggest you guys check it out if you're looking for a challenge. At first I thought the game was kind of boring but it definitely grew on me as I got further in. Number 5, Missiles. Missiles is another game that's very simple to pick up but it can provide quite the challenge. I have yet to be able to break over a minute without any of the missiles hitting me but the challenge only makes it more fun and makes me want to play it some more. I suggest you guys check it out. There's a neat game to have to mix it up when you have a few minutes here and there. Number 6, Smash Rocket. At number 6 we have Smash Rocket. This is again a pretty simple game. All you do is aim the different rockets at the different rocks surrounding the planet Earth and you destroy them to get through the level. There's different types of rockets, some that will spin, some that go both ways and others that just aim in one direction. And the surrounding objects sometimes change as well. These things vary depending on what level of the game you're at. Overall I'd say this is a pretty neat game. I suggest you guys check it out. At number 7 we have Tiny Striker. Tiny Striker is a game that I like to pass the time with because I'm a very big fan of soccer. If you like soccer or have ever played soccer, this game is not very challenging. However, it's easy to just get in the rhythm and play this game for an extended amount of time without really noticing that the time is going by. This is definitely not a game for people who are looking for a huge challenge. It's really more of an entertaining process than a challenge. Number 8. Higher Lower This next game, Higher Lower, is different from all the other games that we've taken a look at. This game is all about what you think gets googled more. So you'll have an already determined number and then you get a topic and you have to guess whether it gets a higher amount of google searches or a lower amount of google searches and the object of the game is to get as many right answers in a row as possible. Personally I find this game quite interesting, it's interesting to see what people google and how much they google it and not only that it is actually sometimes challenging to guess whether something gets googled more than something else. Number 9, Putthole. Putthole is a very fun game in which you have to construct putholes that lead from the golf ball to the hole for points. It's not very difficult, but if you mess up a move it can get very challenging. You definitely have to think several moves ahead in order to do well in this game, and at the same time, your success also depends on the pieces that you're getting to use at the time. I definitely found myself losing track of time and getting very into this game while playing. I spent a good 30 minutes on accident just trying to set a new high score. 10. Spin Spin is a very simple game where all you have to do is tap the screen to go through the rounds. The object of the game is to get a high score as possible and all you really have to do is wait for the little gaps in the circles to line up and tap it at the right time to go through on the next level. Now this seems very easy but as you progress you will run into some challenges as they make the gap wider or thinner and also it depends on the speed of the circle you are on and the oncoming circle. Overall I'd say this is a very fun game but one negative thing about it is that sometimes full screen ads do pop up randomly and you will click on them just out of habit. But other than that I definitely suggest you check this game out. So before we move on I'd like to give a shout out to the guys over at Slick Wraps for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't heard of Slick Wraps it's a company that provides skins and cases for all kinds of electronics from consoles to other electronics to a multitude of cell phones. We are currently rocking skins on all of our devices so feel free to check them out in the link in the description down below. Thank you. Number 11 Hazards this is a game that I find pretty challenging. It has a few different game modes that are all based on you dodging obstacles. 
The controls are a bit different, which is also where I think a lot of the challenge comes from, but I'd definitely say it's a game worth getting. I'd say my favorite game modes have been the arcade or the time modes because I feel those are the ones I can handle best. The time mode is definitely my best mode and I was able to get a pretty decent high score in my opinion. The other game modes are pretty challenging and I haven't even checked them all out, but I would suggest you guys get this game and check them out yourself. Number 12, Circle Pong. I find Circle Pong to be one of the more difficult games on this list. I don't think I do very well unless I'm really feeling in the zone. The premise of the game is very simple. All you have to do is keep the ball in the circle and you have two controls. One that will allow you to turn it to the right and one that will allow you to turn it to the left. You basically have to time and decide what you're going to do very quickly and react as fast as possible to get to the ball. You'll get pretty sporadic bounces I feel and that itself makes the game quite challenging. Number 13, Disc. So to be good at disc, you have to have quick reactions. The whole point of this game is to make sure the colors line up with the discs that are coming ahead. And to switch the colors, you have to tap. So in order to do well, you have to kind of react pretty quickly. I would say that it took me a few tries to get the hang of this game, really. The first few times I played, I just ended up doing very poorly, simply because I did not have the reaction time. But it's definitely one of those games that grows on you, and once you get pretty good at it, it becomes a lot of fun. Number 14, Golfinity. This is a more traditional golf game, and basically the game has many different levels. I'm not sure if they are auto-generated and they go on forever, but as of right now, I have not ran out of levels and I have been going for quite some time. Some are more challenging than others. What you want to do is be able to complete the level and the amount of shots that they suggest, or less. You can see how far or over under par you are in the corner. You can see how many hits is par for each course in the other corner as well. Number 15, Hocus. This is another puzzle-like game. The objective is to get the cube to the red opening on the figure. And to do that, you have to find the path, which can be harder than it seems due to the very weird dimensions of the shape. This game is nice because it has minimal ads and has a ton of levels that can provide hours of entertainment. This game also has very challenging levels. Some of the levels you can get by pretty quickly, but others have taken me quite some time and are very confusing. 16, Hyperflex. The objective of Hyperflex is to survive as long as possible. This game requires you to have quick reflexes and the ability to determine what to do at specific sequences. This game also claims that if you make it to a thousand meters, there's something that happens. But unfortunately, I'm not very good and therefore my high score is only in the hundreds. I have no idea what happens when you get to a thousand, but if any of you do find out, please let me know in the comments section below. I feel like I'm not very good at this game personally, but I've still found it to be quite a lot of fun, so I definitely suggest you guys check it out. Number 17, One More Bounce. One More Bounce is a very fun game. There's different game modes, but my favorite would definitely be the Endless mode where you try to get as far as possible. This game is challenging, but it's not insanely difficult. The Classic mode has a bunch of levels for those who are into that. If you're looking for a game that has hours of entertainment and isn't very difficult, One More Bounce is definitely a game you should check out. Number 18, Pancake. This game is probably as simple and as entertaining as games can come. All you have to do is tap the screen to see how many flips you can get on a single pancake. Make no mistake, the game appears very simple, but is in fact quite challenging. Honestly, I haven't been able to get a high score that's very impressive as of yet. The game will give you random bounces and it can definitely be frustrating at times, but I suggest you guys check it out if you're into very simple games. This is a game that's very easy to pick up. I was able to give it to my little sister and one of her friends and they were able to pick it up very easily. Number 19, Eco Driver. This game requires a bigger download than all the other games on the list because of the graphics, but it's also a pretty simple game to get the hang of. All you have to do is see how far you can get before you run out of gas. In order to go farther, you have to drive well and pick up as many coins as possible, and you also have to realize when to cruise the car and when to accelerate as well as shift the gears up or down. There will be specific times in the game where you have to slow down in order to get certain things or because of a light. You have to be able to anticipate this in order to do well. Last but not least, number 20, we have Cube Blast. Cube Blast uses your gyroscope as you tap through and go through various levels. If you are fast enough, you can go through the level and collect all three stars before you complete it. This game requires you to control it with a gyroscope, which in my opinion adds a bit of difficulty, but I definitely think it's one of my favorite games because it is one of the only games I've found that you can get through the level, but getting three stars actually becomes a challenge. So even though you pass the level, in order to do it perfectly, you have to be very good. And that challenge is something I appreciate in the game. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this list. Let me know in the comments section below which one of these is your favorite game. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.